发现门没关，太不小心了。哦，又晕倒了。Oh my god！ <笑>你到底发生什么事了？谁能说明 ？Oh my god！ What happened to him? He's unconscious. He's bleeding. Shit! What could have happened to him? I gotta call a doctor. I can't just leave him like this. Calm down, girl. There must be something I can do to help him. Hey. Come on, Papa. Come on. Ethan, Ethan, can you hear me? How do I do? How do I do? Uh, I think I should talk to him later. He is the one who can help him. You've got a hell of a fever. Ah, can use the cough drops. Are those burn marks on your chest? These are burn marks. Arms look really bad. I need to disinfect your wounds. I'm gonna have to get your clothes off to disinfect those wounds. Don't think I'm too old. Tong 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 tong. Yao Xu. Look at it, I feel very pain. Those are serious burns. I don't know if I can do anything for you. Tenzi Luan Mu. Okay. Doctor, but I'll do what I can. Uh, first, alcohol. Do it's disinfectant. Not terribly good for burns. This tongue is not working. Oh, sorry. It's just disinfectant. 啊、哦、天啊，他手好严重哦！天啊 ！Your wounds are disinfected. 然后，软膏。软膏是抹烫伤吗？我记得烫伤应该不是抹软膏，对不对 ？Sorry, I'm stupid. I'm using anti-burn ointments on your cuts. 靠呀！我怎么知道啊 ？God, 
Sorry. I'll take it easy. <laughs> that should ease the pain. Phone that. 这应该就是包手了，这没问没问题。转吧，转吧，七彩霓虹灯That's all I can do. How do you feel, Ethan? He's unconscious. Now I'll just have to wait and hope he wakes up. I haven't eaten yet. If you haven't eaten the poison pill, will it have an effect on the plot of the next episode? Let's see. 该做都做了，消毒也弄了。How do you feel? Why do we only bleed one side? We're not both hurt on both sides. Was I out for long? About three hours. Why the guardian angel act? You don't even know me. Uh, no choice, Yudi. You didn't really leave me any choice. I couldn't just leave you like that. You said you were here because you're an insomniac. Uh, come back. I um. I've been going through a bit of a tough patch the last few months. The kind of stuff you prefer to forget. I do what I can to live with it, but uh, it's not easy. Hmm. You 遇上问题了吗 You um. You got some kind of a problem? Bigger than you can possibly imagine. Hmm. 道歉 I'm sorry. I shouldn't be asking you questions. I mean, after all, we hardly know each other. You have no reason to trust me. Listen, I'm truly grateful for your help, but for your own sake, I think it's better if you don't ask any questions. Shizu, okay, bang. No one can help you. No one can help me. You've already done a lot, Madison. Cause, right. Oh. I'm gonna go. Papa, take care. Oh, 话说他怎么会遇到这么衰的事呢？哎，儿子居然被人家拐走。不过说到底，他为什么会有时候？会感觉像是精神分裂一样
该是一种精神疾病吧。Must, must stay on my feet. I don't want that girl to get involved. No one must know until I find my son. I'm coming, Sean. I'll find you wherever you are. I need to get going. I've already lost too much time. Saiga, San Ha. Where I didn't do it. I've got nothing to do with that business. I never killed nobody. Then why did you run away when they came to question you? I already told you I forgot to report to my parole officer. I didn't want to go back to prison. When I saw the cops, I just bolted. I wasn't thinking straight. We checked out his statement. He has an alibi for at least three of the murders. Fuck, that bastard was a perfect fit. Shit! Ash? Okay. Sean Moss's mother is here. She'd like to speak with you. It was a few months back, the middle of the night. It was pouring down. Ethan came home completely drenched at about three. I asked him where he'd been. He, uh, he spoke about drowning the rain. Um, he didn't make any sense. There was something. Something in his eyes. As if... So, so, my mind But the next day, there was that announcement about another victim of the origami killer. Find my son. I'm begging you. I'm Police Lieutenant Carter Blake. And this is Agent Norman Jaden of the FBI. According to our information, Ethan Mars is one of your patients. We'd like to ask you a few questions about him. I'm sorry, that's impossible. I beg your pardon? I'm bound by an oath of secrecy. Under no circumstances may I discuss my patients. My job is to find Sean Mars alive, and I don't give a damn about any bullshit oath. Sean Mars's life may depend on what you know. Tell us what you know, Doctor. I'm sorry. I can't help you. Now I must ask you to leave. You need to cooperate. For your own sake. I know you don't want to protect the murderer. If you know anything, you must tell us, Doctor. Are you threatening me? I'm just giving you some free advice, Doc. I suggest you take it. Blake, that's enough. Let's get out of here. I am going to call the police and make a complaint about your behavior. Doctor, you are really pushing my buttons. The only thing I'm interested in is saving that kid's life. So, you're going to be a good boy and tell me what I want to know or I am really going to lose my temper. What are you doing? You out of your mind? Back off, Jade. Let go. This guy knows something and I'm not leaving you here until he tells me what it is. No right. <laughs> If you don't let go of this man immediately, I'll report you and you'll be off the case. What the hell's the matter with you, Norman? When you get cold feet, you don't want to save Sean Mars anymore? I want to save Sean Mars just as much as you do. But that doesn't give me all rights. So you're gonna stop this shit right now. Ethan Mars has had psychological problems since his first son died. If 
feels responsible for his death. A sort of morbid neurosis. He is haunted by visions of drowning bodies. A few weeks ago, after one of our usual sessions, I found this on the floor. He must have fallen out of his pocket. Dirty. That father's sin is getting bigger and bigger. But, but I always feel it's not right. Ash, I want you to send every available man yeah, finding Ethan me. Mars. I want a man outside his place day and night. Notify all agencies to start looking for him. I want you to keep an eye on the train stations, the airports, the bus terminals. I want every cop in the city on his ass, so that if he moves, we know about it. Yes, Ethan Mars is the origami killer. You can make it clear. Just like a pen. It's so funny. Is it just me? Is it just me? Is it just me? Is it just me? I kept Lauren in the dark on this one. I'll pick her up from her place later on. I wonder what we're going to talk about. Well, well, an old friend. Big stick, little ball. Never could see the point of this game. 大棒子打小球。高尔夫的重点就在就在走路的时候跟对方谈。The most exclusive golf club in town. Strange place for an appointment. Nice shot. Thank you. Please come in, Mr. Shelby. Would you care for a coffee? Oh no, thanks. Do you play? I tried once, but I think the owner of the course is still looking for me. It's an interesting sport. It requires strength, but also a cool head and absolute precision. Would you care to hit a few balls with me? There's no danger of damaging the greens here. Okay. Take off your jacket. And grab a club. Okay. The balls are in that basket. This is the highest level. You have to take the ball yourself. I'm all with the machine. You can just throw it directly from the floor. You can just throw it directly from the floor. The most important thing is to grip the club correctly. When you feel ready, you swing. Well, it's only your first ball. You should try to strike it a little harder next time. They can't get a goal for so you're trying to win. Juan, the other two can get out. I'm assuming you didn't invite me here just to play golf, Mr. Kramer. I hear you've been asking questions about my son. Oh, that's in the. That's right. Kite's the Baba. I want to know if Gordy is linked to the origami killer case in any way. My son had nothing to do with that sordid case. Well, then he has nothing to fear from my investigation. You have no business investigating my son. I told you he had nothing to do with it. Because your son is just saying too damn. With all due respect, Mr. Kramer, it's up to me to decide who I want to investigate. 我觉得他等一下，他的那个保镖一定会来找他。I'm an influential man, Mr. Shelby. 
and I pay very well for loyalty. Are you trying to buy me? Counts with Let's time. just say I'm trying to show you where your interest lies. How much do you want to leave my son alone? I think you misunderstood me. I don't play that game. Don't go near my son, Mr. Shelby. If you do, you'll regret it. Have a nice day, Mr. Kramer. Thank you.